And they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely. That takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organisation, force the opposition to make early passes. The weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. But I must say, they have an unconditional commitment to ball possession. Should we expect more of that in this game, Lee? Yeah, absolutely, Derek. They're a team that loves that ball. It's like gold to them. You have to be patient when you're playing against that style of play. Dive in too early and it could be disaster. He did away. That's why... No, high quality defending. So tight this game. Who's going to break the deadlock? Be brave, be a hero, take chances. Dortmund with the ball once more. Dahoud. The referee has played advantage in Dortmund's favour. Making progress is Royce and options around him. Just couldn't get it through. That's why. But after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. Yilmaz. Kyle Larin. Moving forward effectively. Now the attack promising as it was, scuppered there. Marco Reis. Torgan Azar. The ball with Marco Reis. On to Holland. Axel Witzel. In position. And able to close down the shot. A chance now with the corner. Royce taking this one. And with that, the first half draws to a close. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Borussia Dortmund have given it away. Gezal. It's with Larin. Crisp tackling. Torgan Azar and Witzel with it looking confident with the ball at his feet Hummers crossing possibilities and this is Royce flag up tight offside And Dortmund will go to the bench. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic.
Hazard. Really well hit, but just too much height on it. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. It's a good Dortmund move in the making. He must finish! We wondered if a goal was forthcoming, but it has arrived now. Well, finally the deadlock has been broken. Not long to go now. How will that affect the opposition? Well, here's the replay. He didn't panic, did it? Decent strike, good technique, bread and butter strike, really, but it's in the back of the net. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? With their noses in front in the second half, what will be the thinking in the camp, Lee Dixon? The Dortmund players have to focus on not making any mistakes in order to protect this slender lead. If a bit of magic from the opposition gets them back in it, there's little you can do about that. Vida. Dangerous looking through ball, and he got to it fairly easily. Axel Witzel. And that puts them in position. Royce. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Ball played nicely. Well, the atmosphere is electric. The crowd are really trying to urge the players on. You Great opportunity. Late drama here. Level once more. Incredible scenes. Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key. And bang, it doesn't need a second invitation. Beautiful strike to finish. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Dahoud. Akanji has it. Torgan Azar. Hummers. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Well, possibilities in the centre. Witzel. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. He might yet finish. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Late in the game, a corner to Dortmund. Royce taking this one. It comes to nothing in the end. Not disappointing for Dortmund to give it away like that. Well, 
Valentin Rosier. There we have it. The 90 minutes are over and nothing to choose between the sides.